Playing episode, let's go. Today we're playing Dirty Business. The poor freaking 12 year olds that play this game like thinking that when they get a corporate job, this is what it's called. <laughs> this is my boss. Why aren't you at your desk? What? Yo, what? Who the frick spiked her? Sugar cookie almond latte. Good morning. Good morning, genitals. Mr. Estrada. Ooh, I'm trying to take his last name, not Byron's. Um, shoot, I'd be flustered too if anyone was standing that close to me. Morning, sir. Byron. He entered his office, leaving the door just slightly open like he does when he is waiting for me. I started to chew my lower lip out of shame and embarrassment. What does that even look like? How do you do that out of shame and embarrassment? Look what you made me do. He condescendingly greeted me first. What? He literally just stood in front of you. I stuttered because of you. <laughs> Go fetch him coffee. Toodles. Hey, you see the jawline? Hi, what the frick was that? Good morning, Mr. Lancaster. I'm sorry for... Mm. Cole was just... Leave the coffee on my desk. You and Mr. Estrada don't have anything to occupy yourselves with? No, sir, I- Byron Lancaster had been my boss for the last two years. Of course I have a crush on him, but don't tell Cole. How could I not? He was the sight. His well-built frame nicely filled his expensive three-piece suits. Strong to find jawline, but his eyes were cold. I don't know, they look pretty, like, welcoming. Well, not really. He just looks like he doesn't sleep a lot. But his eyes were cold. So cold and so indifferent, it exuded respect. What? Guys, what kind of eyes do I have? <laughs> oh, they are not exuding melatonin, that's for sure. Holy Christ, are those always there? Focus, shoot. Go back to your desk, Miss Williams. The rest of the day went smoothly, receiving clients, sending emails, filling in spreadsheets, and bickering with Cole at lunch. Come on. I'm going. What are you still doing? What are you doing, Ed Sheeran? Yes, Mr. Lancaster? Byron. Jenny Tolls, can you please come here for a minute? Because Jenny Tolls is like two names, I thought he was calling her like by her first and last name. But it's like legit just Jenny Tolls. So what's her full name? Jenny Tolls Pee Pee? Of course, Mr. Lancaster. I also really like their style, kind of. Yes, Mr. Lancaster? Do you have classes today? No, I'm free. Wait, am I in like high school? college because he doesn't look like he's in college that's for sure do you mind if i ask why i need your help with something and i think you'll be doing some overtime i'm happy to help of course she is you see how giddy she just got my brother starved good i could use your sharp eye i could use your knowledge she's fast i'll tell you that maybe a corporate job isn't for her maybe she should uh an olympian that is that literally apple products blurred out being so close to him made my senses go into overdrive i tried to ignore it by keeping my eyes on my laptop but he smelled so so good mr lancaster wore a sophisticated cologne is there such thing as like a naive cologne what the f whatever i know what they mean it's just funny that they use that when we were close he was made of ice professional and cold hold on are you his only like worker Demanding but somehow kind and if he And if he accidentally brushed his fingers on mine while pointing me something on the laptop I felt jolts of electricity bro get that checked what looks amazing genitals 9 30 p.m. I don't know what I would do without you don't mention it sir look at the time I forget that not everyone is a nerd like me Okay, here it is. He just gave me the ick. major jughead vibes I forget that not everyone has work ethic and is hot and is a billionaire what? What is he talking about? It's the first time in two years when I see him loosen up. How is that loose? Does she think he's being vulnerable right now? Sorry, Miss Williams. Let me call Tony. We're taking you home. Yo, is this a kidnapping art? Who's Tony? It's okay, sir. Let me have your car ready, as usual. Nonsense, I kept you here. I'm responsible for this. Oh my gosh, what's up? And everybody knows. Everybody knows. He presses his hand on the small of my back, guiding me through the elevator. That was a freaking bear hug, man. Why do authors say small of their back? Like, what if they're not small? He presses his hand 
on the big of my back. Try to control the lump in my throat. She has serious medical problems. I don't know why like the authors are like romanticizing it. It should be forbidden for him to touch another employee. She needs to go outside for real. Like he like accidentally grazes her hand and she's like absolutely feral. He can't just do that. It distracts me so much. You're li he's not doing it. He's legit standing there. She's so dramatic. What? No better than me. Our ride home was awkward to say the least. It literally, he looks fine. You skipped dinner. Do you want to, girl? I looked back at him in terror. Of course he was being nice, but to actually invite me out, that's, again, with the medical problem. Forget the dinner, can you see a doctor? I said it was fine, sir. I should get home soon. My boyfriend is wait. I'm sorry, you're what? First of all, you're nothing but a trashy hoe. Don't you think that this like should have probably came up sooner? Frame one, take one. She doesn't even need to touch grass. She has a boyfriend. So she's just ho ho ho. Merry Christmas. He makes my heart beat irregular. He makes me die. He makes me faint. He puts electricity in my fingertips. But my boyfriend is waiting at home for me, huh? And then it hit me. What hit you? Then it hit me. I'm a whore. I did have a boyfriend. What? Why is she acting so dense about this? Also, we literally just went through her entire day all the way to 10 p.m. And the boyfriend is just coming up now. You mean to tell me that you like didn't check your phone once or think about your boyfriend? And he was waiting for me at home. We had dinner plans. I realized I didn't check my phone in hours. Are you checking your brain at all? Is there anything going on upstairs for that matter? Please don't take your clothes off. Okay, there you go. 11 miss <gasps> I went on silent all day, stayed overtime with my boss until 10 p.m. and my boyfriend's checking on me? Huh? Stupid. Not every. I'm wa- I'm waiting. Waiting. Screw this, opening the bottle. I didn't know you have a gentleman waiting for you at home. I kinda like Byron, like he, he does give me a sophisticated vibe. Yeah, a gentleman. Oh, tea? I hope everything is okay. Of course it is. That's the house. T Tony, stop. <laughs> Yo! I don't know how the upper class rides, if you will, but you know, when I take an Uber, they usually like know where you're going because they're the ones driving the car, you know? And you know, if they drive a little bit past my house, so I'll be like, I'm this one right here. I don't freaking s call them out by name and scream, stop the car. It's like she's about to get kidnapped. Like she wouldn't enjoy being kidnapped by her boss. Freak. Have a good night, Jenny Tools. You too, sir. Okay, Walking Dead. Every The lights were off. Oh well, at least he wasn't upset with me. Oh my gosh. Does he like- Wait, this is interesting now. I want to see Byron and Ari get into a- Who is a liner? Who this TikToker got it poppin'? Hey, educated, only 